Here, drink this cup of warm milk. Maybe it'll help. Your complexion is awful. Let me look at you. You don't seem to have a fever. Does your lower abdomen still hurt? Want me to call an ambulance? Why are you laughing? I don't have a lot of experience with this. It's better to be safe than sorry. I didn't think you'd be on your period already. But since it's here, there's no point in getting angry. We'll have other chances to see the night sky. It's not like this was the only time I'd take you. Your brow is furrowed. If it's that bad, I can lend you a shoulder to lean on. Are you still trying to act tough? I'm canceling the dinner reservation. The restaurant says we can change our reservation to another date. Here's the message, see? Oh, your hands are cold. Take this blanket. Does it hurt a lot? The warm milk didn't help? Is it because of the milk tea yesterday? You asked for a lot of ice and sugar. Okay, okay. I'll stop talking. Get some rest. If you want or need anything, just call me. Today, I'll be your bodyguard. Do you still feel uncomfortable lying down? Then sit up. I'll be your sofa. <clears throat> Yeah, lean on me, just like that. Where does it hurt? Let me give you a massage. Does this work, or should I move my hand? Seems like it's right here but I'm afraid to put any pressure on it. I don't want to hurt you. Harder? Or should I be more gentle? Do you want me to go faster? Or would you prefer I go slower? Will you feel better if I press here? These hands excel at many things, but not this. Things are always hard the first time around. Right? Practice makes perfect. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not saying that I want you to be in pain next time. But if you want to hit me, you can do it. Gently. I did look up some stuff as I was heating up the milk. According to the internet, exercise will make you feel better. Doesn't hitting me count as exercise? You smiled. Guess you feel better now. Awesome. Seems like my awesome massage skills worked. Weird. How come you're not praising me? Is something wrong with my ears? It's fine if you don't say anything. Like you always say, a smile means affirmation. Make sure you're wrapped up in the blanket. Lean against me. 
and don't move too much. I don't mind if you're more comfortable in this position. As long as you're not frowning, I won't feel tired. We can't go to the revolving restaurant on the hundredth floor of the tower. There are other ways to show you the night sky. That's why I'm smiling. Remember how when we first met, I'd always call you at night to help you sleep? I wasn't very busy, so I'd use the camera you gave me to take pictures. When I passed by this street light, you were telling me how the takeout you ordered was tasty. And when I passed by this garden, you were trying to scare me by talking about some urban legends. While I took these just for fun, the pictures are pretty cool, don't you think? You can enjoy these photos as we sit and talk. I want to help you sleep, just like before. <sighs> While I always complain that you're careless and not a good bodyguard, at times like these, I really want you to get better soon. It's so hard to see you feeling unwell. Not to mention I'm really bad at taking care of others. Don't worry. I'll be a good sofa and stay with you the whole night. You'll be A-OK -okay when you wake up tomorrow. I'll personally cook something nice for you to eat. How does that sound? Good night. I won't leave you. <laughs> 